If I were to ask you, what's the big animal that kills the most in the world, you'd probably say something like lions or tigers, right? However, even if we were to add up the number of deaths caused by tigers, lions, wolves, and sharks, it would still be lower than those caused by hippos, with an annual average exceeding 500. These are the most dangerous animals in all of Africa. Hippos are often perceived as gentle giants of African aquatic ecosystems, but this image hides a more complex and sometimes dangerous reality. Despite their predominantly herbivorous nature, hippos are considered one of Africa's most dangerous animals to humans, mainly due to their territorial behavior and unpredictability. Hippos are extremely territorial in the water. When humans inadvertently enter their areas, whether swimming, fishing, or boating, hippos may interpret this as a threat and attack to defend their space. Hippopotamus attacks are extremely severe due to the size, strength, and agility of these animals. They can run at surprisingly high speeds over short distances, making it difficult for humans to escape once an attack begins. Furthermore, a hippo's large mouth, equipped with long, sharp tusks, can cause serious or fatal injuries. Hippos have large canine tusks, which can grow up to 50 centimeters in length. These tusks are not used for eating since hippos are herbivores, but rather as powerful weapons in fights against predators or territorial disputes with other hippos. The tusks are incredibly strong and sharp, capable of causing severe injuries. The bite force of a hippo is one of its most impressive weapons. They have one of the strongest bites in the animal kingdom, capable of exerting a pressure of about 1,800 pounds per square inch psi. For comparison, a pit bull's bite rarely exceeds 300 psi. This force is sufficient to crush bones and can be lethal. The size and weight of an adult hippo also serve as a natural weapon, making them one of the largest land mammals. An adult male can weigh up to 2,500 kilograms, and their massive bodies can intimidate opponents and cause damage simply through the force of impact. At first glance, their stature and thick skin are attention-grabbing elements that equip them perfectly for life both in and out of the water. They have a unique ability to stay almost completely submerged, with only parts of their face above the surface, allowing them to breathe and observe without being easily noticed. While they may seem serene and even a bit clumsy on land, in the water, hippos transform. They move with a grace that belies their size, navigating rivers with ease. During the day, they prefer to remain submerged to protect themselves from the heat, emerging at night to feed in a ritual that defines their daily lives. These animals are a study in contrasts, large but agile in the water, appearing peaceful but with the capacity to be quite assertive when necessary. They occupy a crucial place in the environments they inhabit, not only as one of the largest land mammals but also as an integral part of aquatic ecosystems. Hippos make their home in the freshwater bodies of Sub-Saharan Africa, a region that offers the perfect environment for their living needs. They primarily inhabit rivers, lakes, and occasionally swamp areas, where water is abundant and they can submerge to escape the daytime heat. However, the choice of these habitats is not without challenges. Competition for safe spaces and food resources is intense, not only among hippos themselves but also with other species that share their environment. Despite their solitary or even isolated appearance when viewed individually, these giants form strong community bonds, centered on groups known as herds. These communities are led by a dominant male, who defends his territory and mating rights with constant vigilance. The herd is primarily composed of females and their offspring, with some subordinate males tolerated on the peripheries. Communication among hippos is sophisticated, involving a range of sounds, gestures, and even the use of their feces to mark territory and convey messages. These signals help maintain social order and avoid unnecessary conflicts within the group. Contrary to many expectations, hippos are predominantly herbivorous, dedicating themselves to a diet consisting almost exclusively of grasses. As night falls, they leave the safety of the water to graze. These nocturnal excursions are crucial, as this is when hippos consume the significant amount of vegetation needed to sustain their large bodies. They follow well-worn paths to their grazing areas. 
These nighttime outings are carried out individually or in small groups, but always with a sense of connection to the common territory and herd they belong to. An adult can consume up to 40 kilograms of grass in a single night, a feat that requires several hours of feeding. Despite their association with aquatic environments, hippos rarely eat aquatic plants. They prefer the grasses found on dry land, leading them to travel considerable distances during the night in search of suitable grazing areas. Feeding efficiency is maximized by their grazing method. Hippos have wide lips capable of ripping large amounts of grass at once. On a daily basis, hippos coexist with a variety of aquatic and terrestrial animals. Their presence in water bodies creates opportunities for species such as fish and water birds, which benefit from the rich nutrient sources provided by hippo feces. Additionally, birds like herons and other birds are sometimes seen landing on hippos, feeding on parasites infesting their skin. This symbiotic relationship not only benefits these birds but also helps hippos stay healthy by reducing the number of parasites. Within the vast and varied ecosystems of Africa, hippos occupy a special place, interacting with large predators in a way that oscillates between tension and tolerance. When it comes to lions, these majestic felines know that an adult hippo represents a formidable challenge. It's rare to see lions attempting to hunt a healthy hippo, but they don't miss the chance to attack a stray calf or a weakened individual. These attempts are calculated because a lion also knows that facing the fury of a hippo, especially a mother protecting her calf, is too much of a risk. Nile crocodiles, on the other hand, more directly share the aquatic habitat with hippos. Yet, there's an unspoken understanding between them. Crocodiles can be relentless predators, but they rarely risk bothering an adult hippo. There's a kind of truce, mainly because both have too much to lose in a direct confrontation. However, this piece is always delicate, especially in times of water scarcity. Hyenas, always on the lookout for an opportunity, may target vulnerable hippos. But even these cunning hunters exercise great caution. A lone hyena stands little chance against a hippo, and even in a group, they prefer not to risk without the certainty of a reward. Elephants, giraffes, and various types of antelopes share the same scenery with hippos, each species navigating the environment in its own way. Elephants, with their colossal size and vast appetite, often find themselves in the same grazing areas that hippos visit at night. Although there may be an overlap in food resources, it rarely turns into direct conflict. There's a kind of mutual understanding since both have enough strength to defend themselves but also the wisdom to avoid unnecessary confrontations. Giraffes, on the other hand, operate in a different sphere. Their feeding on tree canopies means they rarely compete directly with hippos for resources. This separation of food niches allows for peaceful coexistence, where the presence of one doesn't threaten the well-being of the other. Antelopes, zebras, and other smaller herbivores also share the environment with hippos. While these animals may compete for grazing, nature generally offers enough abundance to minimize conflicts. Additionally, the paths created by hippos as they move between water and grazing areas can benefit these smaller herbivores, facilitating their access to essential resources. Today's video comes to an end, I hope you've learned something today, and if you're fond of this giant mammal, we have a video talking about an even larger animal than it. Stay with God and go watch.